President Idris Deby, thank you for talking to us here in Jamina, in your presidential residence. Thank you for coming to chat. How great is the threat currently posed by Boko Haram towards Chad? Until 2013, whatever Boko Haram did, however harmful those actions were to the population, it was within Nigeria. However, in 2013, Boko Haram started to extend its actions beyond Nigeria, especially into Cameroon and Niger. And of course, Boko Haram ended up attacking Chad. It is an extremely dangerous organization, and one which had the time to get organized, to recruit people who had no work. Boko Haram also has very tight links with Daesh, the Islamic State movement, ISIL, and with ACMI, Al-Qaeda in the Islamic Maghreb. In economic terms, clearly, Chad's economy has lost substantially. Boko Haram decided to strangle Chad by disrupting the axis that joins us to the port of Douala in Cameroon, which is vital to Chad's interests. It was a potential danger to the entire sub-region. It is certain that no country in the sub-region can get out of this nebulous business on its own. Hence the need to pool our resources, limited as they are, to manage to curtail Boko Haram's capacity for harm. What are your exact objectives of this military intervention? To destroy Boko Haram or to keep it away from your borders? It is to destroy Boko Haram. Short and clean. It has to be destroyed by any means. Your country, Chad, took part in Operation Serval in Mali in 2013, and in 2014 it was part of Operation Barkhane in the Sahel against fundamentalist groups. Now France is providing you with intelligence on Boko Haram, as are other countries. But maybe you'd like a bigger involvement from Europe and the United States? No. No, I believe you must understand that it's been 60 years, practically, since African countries got their independence, that we ought to have been able to take responsibility for ourselves. We should be capable of handling our crises. We should be able to cope with terrorist movements, first and foremost, by uniting our efforts. African efforts. At the beginning of March, Boko Haram swore allegiance to the self-proclaimed Islamic State, Dawla al-Islamiya. Can this allegiance make them more dangerous as a terrorist group? What we have done is break Boko Haram's military strength. We have also disrupted its military staff. All that, I think, can only show us the real face of Boko Haram, which is not, as it is said, an organization at local African level, at the level of Nigeria, but an organization that has links to other terrorist organizations of the world, in particular Islamic State. One has to ask what is behind Boko Haram. That is my next question. We don't have much information on the number of fighters Boko Haram has or its financial sources. We know they get money through kidnapping ransoms and robberies. But do you think Boko Haram receives money from foreign countries? Boko Haram is supported. Boko Haram, Boko Haram is financed. Boko Haram has received war material, including field armor. Who from, I don't know. But are you sure they have received outside support? 
Well, how else do you think that a terrorist organization can conquer one-third of a big country like Nigeria with an organized army, with armored vehicles, with methods of operation that resemble those of a regular army? They don't make armored vehicles in Nigeria. They don't make weapons. Therefore, all that hasn't just fallen from the sky. We have seen that groups close to Daesh are also operating in Libya. Could that become a new front on your northern border? In 2011, when the West and NATO triggered military operations in Libya, I warned them. I had no love for Gaddafi, but the way they got rid of him, which left a country super equipped militarily, heavily armed. No measures were taken, I'd say, to manage the time after Gaddafi, to prevent weapons from leaving Libya. Since Gaddafi's assassination, we've been on a war footing. In the north, the same as for our other borders, weapons cross, Daesh grows, and the terrorists also develop in Libya. There is a real physical threat to the countries of Africa south of the Sahara. Chad is a mostly Muslim country, and you are a Muslim. Given that, what's your opinion of Daesh appropriating your religion, Islam? De votre religion, l'islam. Daesh ou État islamique ou Boko Haram. What Daesh or Islamic State or Boko Haram do is far, far from Islamic. I reject it. And Muslims must not just stand by and let it happen. We've let it go on for a long time, and it's high time that Muslims get organized and confront this terrorist organization that has nothing at all Muslim about it. Those are not Muslims, and we have to fight those people. Muslims must fight those people. Mr. President, thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you for taking an interest in my country.